So today we're going to learn about the major layers of the skin. I've had a lot of students ask me if there's mnemonics that I have that can help them remember the layers of the skin. There's several layers, so sometimes it can become a little tough. But if we remember a few funny things, we can actually remember the layers of the skin and understand why each layer is important. It's important for various reasons. One of them is you're working on the skin on a daily basis, so you should know the layers of the skin. Second, you should know why skin layers are important because different products will penetrate different skin levels. And you should know why and where these products are actually working. That's important for you as an esthetician and for the client because that's going to help you sell your products. That's going to help you understand why you're using these products and what type of expected outcomes you should have for your clients. That's why I think just understanding the layers of the skin is very important instead of just memorizing the layers. That's why if you understand the content, you will become a leader in this industry. So let's get started. All right. So there are several layers to the skin. The mnemonic that I like to use just to kind of memorize the layers initially is something called come, let's get sun burned. Something you should be telling your clients not to get, but it's a funny way to remember it. And at least it gets the, the understanding of the skin layers down. So C stands for corneum, which is the most superficial layer. LUT stands for lucidum. G stands for granulosum. S stands for spinosum. And B stands for basale. And let's talk about each of these layers. And we will start from the bottom up. So once again, draw this out because once you start drying out the layers of the skin, you will start to remember them much better. What's the mnemonic again? Come, let's get sun burned. The first one is basale. Basale has a lot of foundational um, cells in its layer. Why? Because it's the most bottom layer. Everything else builds upon it. So Basale has something called stem cells. Stem cells will then break up into daughter cells. Daughter cells will then differentiate, and this is where terminal differentiation takes place, meaning this is when cells know what they're going to do and what their roles are, okay? The next layer is called the spinosum layer. This layer is the largest layer. This is where health and strength comes into play. This is where keratin starts to deposit. G is for granulosum. Granulosum layers are where uh, the, the, this layer starts to get filled with keratin deposit and where strength takes place even at a higher degree. And I talk about keratin a lot more in detail in my other lectures. We have production of fatty acids. <clears throat> we have um, uh, we have production of water-soluble nutrients. This, more importantly, is the layer that will help you prevent water loss. L stands for lucidum. Lucidum is the thinnest layer that we have in our skin thin layer. Common board questions are going to be that the lucidum layer is the thickest on the palms and soles of your feet. And then the, the most superficial layer is the corneum layer. 
also known as the horny layer. This layer is going to allow for various things. This is where this layer is waterproof because you obviously don't want to lose water or nutrition um, or that hydration in your skin. Therefore, the corneum layer is going to help with that. This is where keratinocytes, tinocytes, become corneocytes. And once again, I talk about the life of a keratin in much more detail in my other lectures that you can find on YouTube. This layer is very important because ultimately, this is the gateway to the acid mantle. Acid mantle is important because this is where water and nutrients are kept at a equilibrium in your skin allows for equilibrium. Equilibrium. Very important. Why? Because as an esthetician, you are constantly using products, skin treatments, to help maintain the acid mantle. If the pH of the skin is not appropriate, you're going to start to have bacteria invading this layer of your skin. And therefore, if we lose this equilibrium, then we essentially are going to have uh, acne prone skin. We're going to have um, bacteria come and attack the skin and be exposed to other skin diseases. And that's why if we don't understand the layers of the skin and help our clients be better educated about which products they should use, then, then we will not be able to help them or ourselves ultimately. I hope this helps. I know this was a quick breakdown of the layers of the skin. It was requested. And therefore, I thought I'd just quickly tell you guys a little bit about what each layer of the skin um, involves and why it's important. And why as a skincare professional, this is important for you so that you can learn and understand and ultimately teach and educate your clients. I think this is very important if you can understand these layers and educate them, educate your clients, you will ultimately have repeat clients um, where you your practice will flourish and you will be successful. All right, I hope this helps. I hope um, you know if you guys have any questions, you can just um, ask them in the uh, comments below. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell. All righty, take care.